If there's one thing the mainstream media loves, it's scientific discoveries that can be twisted just right so they become clickbait. Like here, when CNN wrote that Hungarian scientists may have found a fifth force of nature. And when they said that this mysterious unseen fifth force, cue the Star Wars reference, was photophobic and afraid of light. Hold up. For one, it's actually a protophobic force per the paper. And it's not afraid of anything. Pretty sure particles don't have feelings, based on what we can tell. A recent development in this area is exciting, but the article that went viral botched the explanation so much that it does a disservice to the topic. That's exactly why we created this channel, to break down new studies correctly. Subscribe to join us. So let's explain what actually happened. The commotion stems from a paper published by nuclear physicists in Hungary called New Evidence Supporting the Existence of the Hypothetic X-17 Particle. What is X-17? It was originally proposed by the same team in 2015 when they found an anomaly in the decay process of excited beryllium-8 atoms. When the atoms decayed, they emitted pairs of electrons and positrons. An abnormally high number of decays were observed at an angle of 140 degrees at an energy of about 17 mega electron volts. The researchers argued this could be evidence of a new fundamental particle dubbed X-17. This idea was furthered in 2016 from theoretical particle physicists at University of California, Irvine, who suggested the Hungarian team's data could be explained by a vector boson. In case you missed quantum physics, there are two classes of particles, bosons and fermions. Fermions are the building blocks of everyday matter, while bosons are force carriers, packets of energy of a particular field. Still with us? Good, we're almost there. Right now, all of our collective physics knowledge points to there being four fundamental forces. Gravitational force, carried by hypothetical gravitons. Electromagnetic force, carried by photons. The strong force, carried by gluons. And the weak force, carried by W and Z bosons. You know what gravity is, and electromagnetism is the reason why opposite charges attract, and why electric fields can be induced by magnets. The strong force holds the nuclei of atoms together, and has such a small range it only affects things at the atomic level. And the weak force is responsible for radioactive decay, which is needed for nuclear fusion in the sun, for example. Because X-17 is a boson that can't be explained by any of the known forces, the initial reaction is that it's a carrier for a fifth force. The Hungarian team observed this in 2015, and the folks at California Irvine furthered the idea with a theory a year later. Per a wonderful Quantum Magazine article we'll link below, the theory works like this. When beryllium-8 decays, it sheds a photon, which almost always immediately decays into an electron and a positron, that then move forward by the photon's momentum and strike a detector. But about once every million times, the atom seemingly spits out the X-17 boson instead, which is a carrier for the hypothetical fifth force. The X boson then splits into an electron and a positron, but because the boson was moving slower than the photon, the electron and positron move toward the detector slower and diverge at a wider angle. It's the angle of detection that pointed the Hungarian team to the concept and they worked backwards from there. Why didn't we see this earlier? Well, for one, the Cal team thinks it was hard to find because X bosons may be protophobic i.e. they interact with neutrons and don't with protons. Photons behave the opposite. Fast forward to today, and there's an update. The Hungarian team has come back with a new paper where they've been able to detect X-17 in the decay of helium atoms. The angle is different, 115 degrees, but the mass is identical to the previous experiment. The angle should be different, the authors say, because the energy of excited helium atoms is different from excited beryllium, but it's the mass that counts, since it's most likely that one particle, X-17, explains both anomalies. So, this is more evidence of a fifth force, right? Yes. The Hungarian team passed peer review in 2015, so it's reasonable to think they will again now, given they used a similar experiment setup. More broadly, X-17 may get us closer to understanding the biggest mystery in physics, dark energy and dark matter. There is an obvious need to understand this hidden sector of our reality, to figure out if particles and forces there interact with visible or known matter. We hope we helped with this topic, and if you liked it, share with a friend, hit the notification bell, and say hello in the comments.